Hi, I'm Mike, and we're in Deadwood, South Dakota. We're at the Presidential Wax Museum in Keystone, South Dakota, 260 feet below the ground. We're aboard the 1880 train in Hill City, South Dakota. We're in the Black Hills Petrified Forest. And we're in Bear Country, USA. It's ready for vacation. Are you excited to go somewhere? Yes. You sound excited. I'm kind of stressed. I think we'll be okay. I don't know how this is all going to fit in the car. Maybe uh. we'll stop and get a bigger car. <laughs> so we're just getting ready to leave, and here is the game plan for this week. Uh, we're going to get away on a vacation, which we don't get to do very often. We take a big vacation about once a year. And that big vacation for us usually lasts about three to four days. We sneak away on the weekends or, or sometimes during the week when we can, but this is our big vacation of the year. And it's very difficult time for us because leaving the ranch can sometimes be a little bit hard to do. This, this year, we're actually heading over to South Dakota. We're gonna be hanging around the Black Hills. We're gonna be in Deadwood. We're gonna be in Keystone, Hill City, Spearfish, we're just gonna be in that general area. We've got a cabin that we've rented up on Terry Peak that we're gonna be staying in. And we're gonna be meeting a couple of our friends, Nick and Stephanie and their daughter, Lainey. They've been friends of ours for years and they've become our vacation buddy buddies over the last few years. So we're gonna hang out with them. We've got a lot of stuff to pack up and get ready to go. And then we're gonna hit the road. Are you? Good. Oh, and I'm also gonna. Are you excited? Yeah. What, what do you want to do that's gonna be fun? I'm going to Crystal Cave. Yeah. That was going. my thing. First stop, Deadwood, South Dakota. Population 1300 and the entire city is a National Historic Landmark District. What do you think, Kenzie? Creepy, because it can look in any direction. Yeah, how many eyes does it have? Four. I wasn't born that way. <laughs> this will get your gold for the bottom of the pan so it doesn't fall out. So make sure you're really shaking your rocks. And then while you're shaking it, tilt the pan back the opposite way towards you. The rocks are going to fall down to the bottom. How many pieces are your gold? Okay. And after striking a rich at the gold mine, it's time to head into the mountains and find our cabin, settle in for the night, and get ready for a few busy days. The human head weighs eight pounds. That's from Jerry McGuire. You can just steal lines from other shows. Well, you said whatever I wanted to say, so. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Nick. What do you do? I'm an electrical contractor. And Nick is uh, our vacation buddy and he's going to be here for the whole week. Hi. Are we locked out? How do you open this? I think we're locked out. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Lainey. I've known Mike and Aaron for about six years. And we're staying in a cabin with them for the week for a vacation. Let me show you it. So this is the kitchen where we will be making food and eating. This you is um, the table the where we eat said food. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stephanie, by the way. This is this one's mom. This is this I one's dad. I will play her. <laughs> Sometimes. 
This is my parents' bedroom. They will be staying in here. Like Aaron and Lincoln will be staying in here. Here's his bed. And this is I don't know what um, our bedroom where Kinsey, Grace, and I will be sleeping. Sweet, you guys can do laundry. Second day of vacation. Kids, where are we going today? Choo choo train. Choo choo train. Lincoln, do you want to ride the choo choo train? Yeah. Yeah. So we come in, we turn the corner, and I hear Aaron say, Nick, you son of a <laughs> I knew I was gonna stop. We're like, and there it is. We're like slowing down. I was like, oh, maybe we have to go this way. And then you like pull in here. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Free samples. I just ate like seven saltwater taffies. <laughs> So we lived through Candyland and got the kids uh, back into the car and now we're on our way to the Wonderland Cave to uh, basically like go into a cave, go into a cave. And, and pick rocks. Look at rocks. Look at rocks. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go do that and hopefully we'll be there in a few minutes. As it turns out, this thing is way out here. At least it seems like it's way out here, at least from where we were before. And now I'm kind of hoping it's not one of those places that's gonna like harvest our kidneys. We're gonna wake up in a bathtub filled with ice or something. It's out here, man. Gracie. Gracie. Hey, kiddo. You want to go in a cave? Mommy! Mom, give me up! Hi, my name is...
my name is Sydney Bloomhall. I'm a tour guide here at Wonderland Cave. Um, I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I'm going to be taking Mike and his family down on a tour today. We have a steady temperature of 47 degrees all year round. So it doesn't matter if it's like 120 degrees outside or if it's negative 5, the cave will always be 47 degrees. Um, we like to call the bat Hollywood because when people get in here, he likes to show off. A really, really long time for these formations to grow. It's really, really good. Oh, and that's my own. This part of the game, um, I don't know if you guys have anything called the ice cream event. Hey, Mackenzie, how cool is the Wonderland Cave? It's awesome. What do you like best about it? Um, I think I like the wishing well where your wishes really come true. So, Nick and Stephanie come over here all the time and they ride their razor. And this is a road that they apparently ride their razor on a lot, and it's very bumpy, and we're in the Yukon. Not really Good morning, it's day three. Yeah. Is it day three? It kind of feels like day two, but it's day I'm three confused. of our vacation in the Black Hills. Roughly, what, we're like an hour and a half from home. <laughs> like two hours. Yeah, like two hours. Something like that. So, uh, day three, we're heading off to do bear country today, which is kind of cool. You get to go drive around bears and hang out with bears. Or Are you excited I for bear, bear country? I see a bear. U.S.A. U.S.A. What kind of bears do you want to see? Black bears. Gracie, brown or black bears? Both. Both. Grizzly bears? Who has reindeer? <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus has reindeer. Except they're magic ones. They are magic ones. These ones probably aren't quite magic. Awake. You see the blue rock. Aww. Oh, look at you. Woke him up. Say bye, wolf. Bye, wolf. Bye, wolf. Are we going to see more? Maybe. Lincoln, what does the wolf say? Say, ow! <laughs> <laughs> you see that? You see two? Good job, buddy. Oh, I see them. I'm going to film them Lincoln, look out your window, bud. Wait, He's eating. Hey guys, there's a bear in this pond up here. Just left our rental house. We're all packed up. Everything is piled back in the car. 
it all fit again. <laughs> um, we are going to go to like Spearfish Canyon and to some waterfalls and do some stuff down there. Maybe go to the fish, fish hatchery in Spearfish and then head back home to the ranch. Oh, oh. And we're back to work. Hey Kenzie, right now your elevation is 7,070 feet. If you got on Nick's shoulders, you would be the tallest person for like eight counties. We can throw you up in the air. No, 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 no. That would be awesome. You could no. throw me up in the air. No. How about you put Nick on your shoulders? No. No. There's a little uh, pole we can climb over there. No, we're not That'll climbing. That would be fun. I'm not climbing it. You're not climbing it? You climb it. Are you scared of heights? It's really that high. Little Nicky won't climb that pole over there either. <laughs> Daddy climb. I'm not climbing nothing. I'm high enough as it is. I haven't been this high since I haven't been this high since the 60s. Daddy, Daddy. Okay. Daddy! That's fine. Well, I'm not sure, but I think the realtor lied. It looked a lot bigger in the brochure. Yeah, You're almost there. Because you can go up a little. Hey look, I found a jackalope. A jackalope. Downhill. Dog it. Fancy, what kind of dinosaur is this? Downhill. Okay. Hi. We're on family vacation and Mike is over there on the phone doing YouTube stuff. <laughs> Who knew that we had to go to South Dakota to find jackalopes? I know, they're everywhere. 